There she is. Hello. Hi, Jock. You look amazing. What's going I'm on? Late. You look as if you're going out for dinner. Well, go easy. This is just our first video. Baby steps. You look fantastic. <laughs> amazing. How are you? All right. I'm very well. I'm, How are you? I'm excited and nervous. And yeah, I'm, I'm ready to do this. Let's get to business. So, well, wait, just before that, like what's happening there? We're in lockdown here in Melbourne. Sorry, can you just get it a little closer to yeah. the stand? Because yeah. I can't hear. No, get the stand closer. Sorry, just a minute. Technical difficulties. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. We're in lockdown here in Melbourne. What's happening over there? I know. I mean, we're still, we're not in a lockdown. There has been uh, relaxations, but the situation's not that great. Uh, I just recovered from COVID. And, I know. Uh, yeah, it was. How are you feeling? Was, I'm great, actually. I got, uh, you know, this was actually like a blessing in disguise for me. I got some time to chill and just kind of work on myself a little bit. So I'm not complaining. I got some more time to relax. Amazing. But how well, that's how awesome, are things in Melbourne? Um, look, it is, um, it's tough. We just went into lockdown last night with one and a half hours notice. So there's a lot of restaurants um, doing it pretty tough with such a short sort of uh, time frame of going into lockdown. Um, and this is our sixth lockdown in Melbourne. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're feeling pretty sorry for ourselves today. I can imagine. No, it's tough. It's like Groundhog Day, right? I mean, you just don't it know. Is. Yeah. And especially with restaurants and hospitality, industry is suffering the most. Exactly. But listen, no better time yeah. to be cooking then, right? And, and as I understand, you don't do much cooking. Not at all. Like, I, 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 I kid you not, I can't even boil an egg. I tried that once and I forgot about it. And the water got all, you know, was evaporated and the egg literally turned black. I'm not kidding. I'm that bad. Oh. So, you got your so did cold. you have help? No, I didn't. I mean, if I had help, then, you know, I would be easy. So you have to handhold me through this entire process. I'm I am going to handhold you. So you have had some help today to get things ready. Yes. Yes. Okay. Would you so like to there's meet going my to be some... Yes, please. So can you consider it, please? She is so happy. And I... So we watch MasterChef together, especially during this lockdown, right? Amazing. Um, we used to wait for MasterChef and me and her used to watch the show together every night. Come here. Oh, is she shy? She's not coming. She doesn't want to come on. Well, I'm yeah, going to say hello. But... I can hear you. So um, I wish that you were, you were with us. And as I understand it, you've probably done some of this prep work as well. So thank you very much. Yes. Okay, I'm going to admit she's done all of the prep work. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to do... She was my sous chef. And now I'm going to take on the chef's hat and try all right. to do my best. Please forgive well, me look, if I go wrong somewhere. Jen, the idea is, is that we're going to break the back of you not being able to cook, right? So this is a quick fix, healthy dish, which yes. hopefully is going to give you a bit of a bug to start cooking for yourself, right? Yes. I so it's a perfect so. recipe. There'll be a lot of people who are going to cook along with us today. Yes. They don't have to be great cooks either. It's all good. This is super easy. Yeah, so and under today, your guidance, we're going to make... Amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Good. And I'm glad. I mean, we're it's gonna great make that, a... you know... Go on. We, we, start, we, we start this uh, the series of us and without any cooking. There is no cooking involved in this salad that we're making. And I think that's, that's amazing. That's one of the rules, you know. In this round, if I pass this round, then we go on to the next round. <laughs> That's it. Today, there's no cooking. But believe me, if we keep doing the Jock and Jen show, there's going to be some cooking. Trust me. And you're going to have to I get am, involved, Jen. All right? I know. I know. No, I'm ex Look, I'm really excited. And I'm willing to give this a shot. But what are the odds of you landing someone who doesn't know how to cook? Like, how did you think of me? I'd like to know that. It's deliberate. It's deliberate. I love Is a it? challenge. Yes, absolutely. And I think that... Good food should be available to everyone, whether you know how to cook or not. And I yeah. think 
cooking is such a beautiful way to bring people together. I've seen you were in COVID. You know, you were talking about not, you know, obviously you don't cook yeah. for yourself. And I was like, here's a lady that could probably use a couple of handy recipes to Aww. make something healthy and delicious for herself. So that's why. That um, is so sweet. Thank you, Jock. Right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Bring it on. Okay. We are going to make a Niçoise salad today. Yes. Okay. Now, it is, this is a recipe that, that way back when started in France, in Nice, there are mm -hmm. a million variations of how to make this, okay? Right. Um, right. For me, I think I, I'm, I'm sort of semi-traditional about it. It uh -huh. is going to be appalling for a lot of people who have tuned in from Australia to realize that there are no um, cooked green beans or kifla potatoes or potatoes of any yes, kind. Potatoes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, but um, it's not in there traditionally. We're adding some very quickly blanched semi-raw green beans in our one today. Um, just because that's what's in season at the moment. There you go. You've already done it. Um, so I'm going to just take this off and run you through some of the ingredients, and then we're going to start making it, right? So I've got, um, some, I've got some red wine vinegar. So I've got some red wine vinegar. I've got some uh, extra virgin olive oil. I've got salt and pepper, green beans, black olives, cherry yeah. tomatoes, a bit of cucumber, some soft, two soft boiled eggs, some basil, uh, garlic, some red onion, right. and can you help? Because I, I, I can't see either, obviously. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's looking good. One second. Hang yeah. on. Flip it. Here we go. There we go. Great. Um, radish, onion. Uh, obviously, I am using some fresh tuna today because I was lucky yeah. enough to get some. You could this use some canned tuna. You could use yeah. some anchovies. You could use white anchovies if you want it. I've also got a little bit of lettuce. Controversial. There's not normally lettuce in a Niswa uh -huh. salad. Really? It's another controversial move. Yeah. But well, look, I wanted to give you a salad that was super healthy and enjoyable and had like some kind of volume about it. So that's why we are putting uh, lettuce in our one today, okay? Yes. So let me try and angle this down so um, we can see the boat and me at the same I time. I got canned sure. tuna with me because I did not get fresh tuna, so I have canned tuna. That's fine. So yeah. the first thing we're going to do, Jen, is we're going to get our tomatoes and cut them up. How are you cutting it? Jeez. Can you put, I just done a touch more. So we're going to go, I like doing my tomatoes in kind of uh -huh. funny shape. So I'll do, I'll cut one straight through in half like that. And then I'll cut a few of them like that. A couple okay. on an angle. Just all okay. higgledy pickle tea, okay? Okay. Here we go. Come on, Jen. You got this. Yeah, yeah, I'm cutting these tomatoes. I'm cutting them all right. <laughs> You're a chef now. Well, you know, we'll, we'll see how this cook goes. Did and, you not learn uh, any dishes when you were younger from your mum or your grandmother? Wow, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> Okay, this is gonna get me into a lot of trouble, Jock, from my mom. Um, so my mom, <laughs> I never really cooked with her. I, do, I don't enjoy going into the kitchen, so I never really cooked with her. But uh, if there's nothing to eat at home, and uh, yeah. you know, my favorite thing to do is instant noodles. Don't hate me. So I do instant noodles. Yes. Did you say instant noodles? Yes. But you're then, living you know in one of the most richest food culture countries in the world and you're eating instant noodles? Come on, Jen. Come in. This is why I picked you. This yeah. is why. <laughs> We're going to sort this out. Okay, you done I, the tomatoes? I, I give it. Oh, the tomatoes are ready, yeah. Okay. We're going to season the tomatoes with okay. some salt. Okay, here we go. So a good pinch of salt, Jen, and also some black pepper. Okay, so we put in salt. Here we go. Okay, and yeah. some pepper. Use your fingers. Did you just use a spoon? Yes. You're a chef now, Jen. You have to use your fingers to season with salt, okay? Ah, uh, yikes. Look, I have nails. I can't do. I'm an actress as well, okay? 
So I gotta take care of those nails. Uh, okay, so Pepper is in. Do you want me okay. to lower the camera a bit so everyone can see? Yeah, is if you want okay? to. Yeah. Okay. No. Some red wine vinegar. Okay. So just like a splash to cover the top of our tomatoes. You don't need to go crazy. Just a bit of a splash. Basically, we're just wetting, wetting the uh, the tomatoes. Okay. Okay. Then Do you think wet, I have enough tomatoes? With, yeah, yeah. The, I give you the recipe, right? Did you yes. weigh them? Yes. Okay, good. Then it should be all right. Then we're gonna yeah, have a little splash of uh, extra virgin olive oil as well. So oh, boy, again, I'm it. not going crazy here. Just a little bit, Got just it. to wet wet the tomatoes, and then just give them a quick stir around in a bowl. And what that's going to do is season the tomatoes all the way through so they're beautifully seasoned, and they start the juice of the tomatoes comes out, and that's going to form part of the dressing as well for the salad. It's delicious. Yeah, I can see, okay. I can see the, the tomato juices, yes. Excellent. Next, cucumber. Watch. Okay. Sorry. Cut the cu cut the cucumber in half lengthways. Okay. And then we're just going to cut it. Do some like, you know, chunks, couple of different shapes. It doesn't really matter. So I'm doing I'm doing sort of random shapes here because I quite like a bit of texture in my salad. So I don't want it all uniformed in size. Right. Okay. I can chuck you to go a bit slow for me, right? This is keeping up with Jock now. It's like being on yeah. MasterChef. Oh, God. Okay, so I've put that in my bowl along with my tomatoes. And the same thing, I'm just going to give it a quick stir around. Okay, that's like, yeah, I'm just going to add some more of these tomatoes in this. Add some more salt. Pepper. And then add in the. Jen, are you okay? Oh, I, I, I caught up with you. I Jen. caught up with you. I just. Jen, are you okay? I'm okay. I'm just gonna mix it into another bowl so we can use a big bowl. <laughs> this is the best. Okay. Here's my tomato. Okay, fantastic. And Excellent. And so just. Brilliant. So yeah. just set that to the side. Done. And now we're going to get a uh, red onion. Okay. And we're going to slice okay. it very finely. Yeah, I'm going to take a shortcut on that. What? Because I have my onions chopped and ready. You had somebody do it for you, didn't you? <laughs> hey, come on. It's, I don't like the smell of onions. <laughs> This is kind of like acting. So you're acting, at least pretend that you're chopping the onion. No, I'm an honest person. I'm not going to take the credit for somebody who's chopped these onions for me. Okay. So big, big shout out to Sonali for chopping these onions for me. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Okay, so put the onions in a little bowl. You've probably already got them in a bowl, have you? Yeah. Then we're going to get some of our red wine vinegar again. Okay. And we're going to put it into our bowl. So what we want is enough so red wine vinegar in the bowl so as it submerges the onions and it starts to pickle them. Okay, so we're pickling the onion here. Correct. Little pinch of salt. Salt. Okay, I'm using my fingers and not the spoon, okay? Yes, Jen. See? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I'm learning All from right. the best. Great. So what we're doing there basically is pickling our onions, right? It does okay. two things. One, it makes them really nice and acidic, which is great for our salad. But the other thing it does is that it actually takes the, the raw, like a, a really raw onion kind of flavor onion. out of the onion. So it's yeah. much nicer in the salad. Okay? Yeah. Beautiful. Now, your olives, have you got them pitted? I have and got cut in half. Uh, oh, okay. she hasn't. Nobody's done it. You need to cut them in half. Uh, sorry, sorry. I, I have them ready in two minutes. In 60 grams. Uh, have you got a set of scales? 
Oh gosh, no, jog. I don't have scales. <laughs> I mean, the only time I use a weighing machine is to weigh my weight, not food. That's fine. You just need like a small, like a handful. Look, Jen, like that. Like I got it. I got it. I got it. Look, All see. Right. I got it. Yeah. But do I need to cut okay. them in half or? Perfect. What about radish? I got radish. Yes. Three radishes. We're going to. Yes. Okay, so I want you to slice them this way. Okay. Okay? Now, Got you it. want to get them as fine as you can. Can the camera be loud so, so people can see what the, the mess that I've made here? Yeah. We want to see the mess, Jen. It's messy. It's messy. Hey, but my chopping skills aren't that bad. Like, it's fine, right? It's nice and fine. Trust me, you're making something delicious here. It's fine. A little bit of mess is okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I've done one radish. Okay. Oh, look Second how radish coming up. Three, you said, right? Radish. Three radishes, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, all three radishes are now sliced. Beautiful. <laughs> oh wow, those radishes look amazing, Jen. Do you see my radishes? Did you see that? I need a bowl. I can see your radish. <laughs> um, it's perfect. Don't worry. Okay, here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Garlic. I've got one clove of garlic and I've got a wooden bowl. Have you got a wooden bowl? I got garlic peels. Oh, you're the best. You're so ready. Okay. Get your garlic and then I want you to put it on your cutting board and then put the knife over the top of it and yeah. go like that. And just yeah. smash it. Believe it right? or not, that I know. Great. Who taught you that? Ah, who taught me that? Uh, a friend of mine whose name I can't take. <laughs> His mother, actually. Okay, got it. So, uh, we're going to... I've just cut the clove in half. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub the garlic in the bowl. Okay. So squeeze it and rub it all around the inside of the bowl. Ooh, what's this for? So the reason is, is that we want a little taste of garlic in there, but we don't want it to be too garlicky. Ah, so okay. I, don't, I don't want sliced or chopped garlic in there because it's just too much. Okay? okay. So it. now we've rubbed the inside of our bowl. Now we're going to make the dressing. Okay. So in this? Correct. In the bowl? In yeah. the bowl. Have you got a whisk? Uh, I have a whisk, yes. Excellent. So we're going to go in with red wine. Uh huh. So in the recipe, what did I say? 60 mils, I think. 60 uh, mils of red wine vinegar. Okay, I'm just, I'm just like, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm intuitive, I'm not intuitive, I'm just kind of winging it. <laughs> Basically, you should have then 100 mils of extra virgin olive oil. All right. That's next. Oh, God. You don't need to be exact, Jen. Don't worry. Yeah. So I'm just going to, there we go. So red wine vinegar. <laughs> Red wine vinegar for the flavor. Got it. Look at this camera angle. It's amazing. So red know, wine vinegar I, I, for the flavor. Oh, wow. We're doing extra virgin olive oil for the health and more flavor. Then we're going to add some salt and some black pepper. Just a pinch. Good twist okay. of black pepper. And then we're going to give it a little bit. How oh, this is fun. How's it looking? 
Well, Good. Excellent. See? Yeah. No, have a taste of it. How's it taste? Mm. Does it need some oh, more wow. salt? It's surprisingly good. It's like tangy and a bit sour with... Yeah. Does it nice... need any more salt? No. No. You're good? Done. Yeah. Okay. So just pour that out into a separate little bowl. A separate little bowl? Okay, I'm just going to do this. And then we're going to start making the salad. So you don't need to wash the bowl out. We're going to use the same bowl to make the salad in. Shit, I didn't use it. <laughs> wow, you swim yeah. more than me, Jane. Ah, uh, do I? No, I don't. My mom's watching this. No, I don't. So, Joe, can I ask you something while we're yes. doing this? Well, I know you must, you know, everyone asks you this question, what's your favorite dish to eat? And, you know, what's your favorite cuisine to cook? But I want to ask you, what's the strangest thing that you've ever eaten? Strangest. Yes. Um, I think maybe I've got a couple. Bat in Vanuatu. You, you ate a bat? I ate a bat. I ate a couple of them, actually. They were barbecued. They, they were interesting. Um, and then there was also in Ethiopia, uh -huh. for Christmas, we killed a cow. And also... Mm -hmm. What happens is it, on Christmas Day, they kill the cow and they eat parts of it freshly right. butchered in the field immediately after they've killed it. No. And it's like insides of the intestines and stuff like that. It was just, it, I mean, it was amazing because it was a very cultural moment yeah. for me in Ethiopia. Yeah. But it, it was so foreign to me. I found it yeah. really tough. I found it really tough. I but it was, it was an amazing experience. I'm sure, okay. I'm sure, but you know, see, this is what, okay, we got it. I think Into food your is, bowl. it's my bowl. I want you to just tip out the liquid from the, the tomatoes and the cucumber. Right. Yeah. Just tip it out. We don't need it. Okay. And then I want you to put the now drained tomatoes and cucumbers into your bowl. Okay. We don't need this liquid, right? No, no, tip it. Uh, you've got the dressing reserved? Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, this is the dressing. Yeah, uh, correct. So just the drained tomatoes and cucumbers into the dry bowl. Done. Okay. Fantastic. Do the same with your onion. Okay. So with your onion, Jen, give it a bit yeah. of a squeeze. Like squeeze all the liquid out of the onion. Okay, got it. Like really squeeze the liquid out and discard the liquid. So that's what mine looks like. I've, get, I've given it a right good squeeze. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to put that in now, in the bowl. Okay. Yeah. Next, a radish. A radish. Where's a radish? Yeah. Sliced radish. Just try and break them up a little bit. Yeah. In the bowl. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Look at that. This is going to be crunchy and delicious. And the now, colors are uh, black amazing. olives. Uh, black olives. And the olives, ready olives, ready olives. Yeah. Now our green beans. Okay, just whole green beans? Yeah, the whole green beans. You've blanched them? Yes. Beautiful. Put them in whole. You good? Yeah. Excellent. Now, you're going to add, if you got your soft boiled eggs, we're going to do an yes. egg reveal. Jen, this is a big moment for you. Woo! Okay, here we go. It's an egg reveal. Have you managed to, put down a bit more, have you managed to make your eggs soft boiled, yes or no? Jesus Christ, I don't think gonna, so. Here's money, you I'm ready? Fine. We got together? Oh, come on. Oh, God damn. <laughs> That's beautiful. Josh. How are your eggs? 
Uh, I mean, I'm embarrassed, but... Uh, Let me see. Okay. The hard boiled Jen. I'm sorry, I couldn't... I'm sorry, I think I missed the timer okay. on that one. It's all right. So listen, what we want to do is we're going to cut one of those halves in half again, okay? Okay, more, okay. Okay, all right, all right. Sam. Yeah. And now we need to season the, our eggs with salt. Okay. So nice, Ooh, this is nice hard amount work, of seasoning. Joe. Say again? I said this is hard work. No, it's not. Come on. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> So you've seasoned your eggs with salt. Yep. Uh -huh. So now we're going to add a little bit of pepper. Pepper. Excellent. Got it. So now the important thing is now we are going to add in our lettuce. Uh huh. And our basil That's into cool. a bowl. And we're going to mix it before we put the egg in. We're going to dress it. No? Okay. So with your dressing, you just want to get about, you don't want to do too much at the beginning. So I'd put maybe, I'm going to put half a dozen spoons of my dressing in at this point. And then I'm going to give it a mix using my hands. Yay, that's fun. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, this, is, this is the fun part. This is oh, the no, fun no, part. No, this is when it starts to look delicious. Yeah. Jen, can you smell it? Does it smell really good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me just add some more lettuce in this, I think. So, okay, please forgive me. I'm a rookie cook, so if I do something wrong, please forgive me. You're, you're doing just fine. Okay. Now, we've got two components left. We've got our yeah. tuna, okay? Tuna. And uh -huh. so, like I said, I used some fresh tuna. That's uh, right. I've already cooked it, it's now ready to go. And you should, you've, you've got some canned tuna, which is perfectly fine as well. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna slice my tuna and add it in. You can just have chunks of your tuna mixed right. in, okay? Salad. Yeah. So let's okay. let's do, let's do that now together. Got it. So I'm gonna slice my tuna. And I've cooked my tuna nice and rare. Oh. Oh wow, that looks lovely. So let's try some. A little bit for the chef. I'm going to dip it in my dressing. Sorry. Sorry, mm. I just... Okay, I'm going to... How much tuna should I put into this? Put all of it the in. The whole can? Yeah. Should I put the whole can? The yeah? whole can. Yeah. Okay, great. Do you like yeah. tuna? I love tuna. I love, love it's tuna. Healthy. Yeah, and it tastes wonderful. Perfect. What do you okay, want to so Come now in. we're going to bring this home, Jen. That you're on the home stretch. Yes, ready. Uh huh. So, very gently, I want you to lift up. Can you point the camera down for me? I want you to lift up your salad and just hide the eggs inside like that. Okay. Just dog then, them around right. nicely. But should I, do I have to? Uh, can you just put, put the camera down, please? Do I have to mix the tuna in first? Yeah, you can mix the tuna in first. Yeah. I'm not going to mix mine just because it's beautiful and, and it's like a yeah, fresh tuna, so I'm going to leave it. Lovely. Yeah, I'm okay. going to leave it the way it is. You think I need but for you, you can too? give it a quick mix. Beautiful. And so now... Oh, hang on. I'm just so going to hide the eggs. You hide the eggs. Beautiful. Well done. And then I'm going to set my tuna on the top of my salad like that. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. And then I'm going to, finally, I'm going to dress my tuna. 
I'm just shaking in the tooth. Oh, that looks beautiful. Why why doesn't my my mind doesn't look like this? Because you've got cancer in that gen. Damn. There's a cat somewhere in Mumbai that's not going to get the dinner tonight because you've used that tuna. Oh, please. Okay, I'm going to say this on <laughs> Instagram in front of people. I'm not very fond of cats. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry to all the cat people. I'm petrified of cats. Okay, petrified. I'm going to turn it around so you can see mine. There's my oh finished my dish. Oh, my God. I'm embarrassed to show you. I'm embarrassed to show you my salad. I'm embarrassed. You know, it's good. So, that looks beautiful, Jock. I want to see yours. Oh, God, no, no, no. <laughs> no, we're doing this again. <laughs> I'm not showing you my... Jesus. Come on. Oh, God. I mean, look. I think it looks great. That's it? Yeah, that looks fantastic. No, we're going to try yeah. it. We're going to eat it. With Jen, you and I are going to have dinner together. Yes, please. Let's, Let's go. I've got lots of questions. We've got so many questions, by the way. I know. I'm so excited to. I'm going to have a quick taste of mine. Are we ready? Oh, you're ready. Oh, yeah. Niswa salad. Hey. Honestly, it's one of the classics. It's healthy, it's delicious, it's quick to make. It's actually not bad. I might, not bad. Jock, I did a good job, if I may say so myself. I but you've made talk. it yourself. It's good. It's lovely. Good. All right. Mm. So are you a believer that you can actually cook good food? Well, I have a long way to go. But I think it's a decent start. I think it's a very, very decent start. And um, yeah, I like it. I bloody like All it. All right. We've got some questions. We're going to do some rapid fire questions, right? Oh, gosh. You ready? I think so, yeah. Okay. Sure. Do you like spicy food? This is to both of you. I love spicy food. I'll answer that first. I cannot um, get enough of spicy food. What about you? Um, no, I don't like too spicy. I like sweet. Really? Perfect. Dessert what girl. is your favorite dessert? What is your favorite dessert? Tiramisu. Tiramisu, it is not. I love it. Stop it. Wow. All what? right, we're going to put that on our list of things to learn how to make. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. What's Who next? was your childhood crush? Who was your childhood crush? Wow. <laughs> I can tell you who my crush is now. Go on. You. <laughs> wow. Is it because I'm a good cook? It must be. And I think, and I think a lot of girls are going to agree with me. <laughs> Next question. Jen, have you visited Australia or Scotland? Uh, yeah, have well, you visited have Australia been, or Scotland? I have been to Scotland and I, uh, it's one of my most favourite places in the world. I love Scotland. I want to settle in Scotland, I swear. It is beautiful. I would love to go to Australia. I haven't been there yet, but soon, yeah. We'll have to make that happen. Where did you go to in Scotland? I was in Edinburgh. Wow. Nice. I love it. I Beautiful. love, I love not, the food. It's, it's not as good as Glasgow, but you know, at least you were in Scotland. It's good. I'm sorry, I've, I've not been to Glasgow, cuisine? but maybe next time you call me there. Exactly. What's your favorite cuisine? Outside your nation's cuisine. Uh, Asian. I love Japanese. Japanese. I, I love my favorite food is sushi. I love sushi. Love it. Wow. Cool. I'm sorry, I can't stop eating. It's so good. No, it's good. What's the food you guys discovered during the pandemic? Did you discover any kind of new food during the pandemic? Um, you know, the funny thing is, when the, in the first lockdown, I didn't have any help with me, so I was cooking. And I made this... Actually, I got this recipe from a friend of mine, and I made cashew chicken. And it cashew turned out chicken. to be... Yeah, it turned out to be really, really good. So, yeah. Wow, okay, nice. What's a food you would never eat? What food would you never, ever eat? Oh my God. 
Uh, or is it easier to say what ingredients do you not like? Like, is there things that you hate? Like, I don't I, like, I'm I not don't like fond okra. Of, I love okra. I'm not a very, I'm not a big fan of radish. Are you not? Yeah. Even when it's dressed like that? If it's dressed like that, it's fine. But I cannot okay. eat it just, you know, as a, like a, a whole thing. Like just radish. Nah. Got it. You know the other thing I don't like? I don't like pears. You don't like pears? No, especially the soft ones. They've got a gritty texture. It really, Why? I think it's like a design fault. Oh, I love pears. I don't like especially the, the soft ones. I don't like the texture. That gritty, the gritty bits. They're like sandy. They're not very nice. I don't like it. Um, okay, uh, next. Uh, Jock, do you ever burn food? Jock, do you ever burn food? Um, very rarely do I burn food. I think, that, like, <laughs> yeah, no, do I? I, I do I burn food? No. I don't think I ever burn food. When, when, no when you started, Jock, right? When you started cooking. When I started, even then. yes. Yeah, sometimes you forget that you've got something on the stove like you do with eggs, apparently. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing, apparently. All right, next question. Um, what food do you eat when you feel happy? What food do you eat when you feel happy? Have you got a go-to happy food? Chocolate. I mean, I know chocolate. it's not like, I love chocolate. I love chocolate. I mean, there was a time when I used to work, so I used to work for 12 hours, come back home, sit in my bed in front of the TV and finish this whole Dutch truffle pastry every night. <laughs> every night. That's yes. like my comfort food. <laughs> so what's your go-to chocolate? Dark chocolate, milk chocolate? Do you like I stuff like dark in chocolate. it? Or just nah, like not my cho dark? Nah, dark chocolate. Wow, I love it. Yeah. Nice, good answer. What's um, your comfort food? food? Um, my comfort food, uh, really, I default to pastas like cacio pepe, carbonara, um, fried chicken. Like, oh, I yeah. can eat a ridiculous amount of fried chicken. I love it. Yeah. It's, yeah it's, I, and I feel, yeah, if I'm in a bit of a, a slump, I reckon pasta or fried chicken gets me out of it pretty quick. Oh, good. Fried chicken. You can't go wrong with fried chicken. You can't go wrong with fried chicken. Yeah. All right, last question. Um, Will Jen ever cook with you again? <laughs> Last question is, will you ever cook with me again? A hundred percent. I mean, I have enjoyed this so much today. And I really want to thank you for thinking of me, you know, to do this. I'm, I'm, I want to learn more dishes from you. I want to teach you some of the things that I know that come from my culture and background. And I think this, yeah, we should, hundred percent. Right. Jock and Jen, it's on. It's a thing now. And Love it. the next dish, the next thing that we do together, because I taught you this today, I want you to teach me a dish the next time. Ooh, all right. Yeah, yeah, oh. I'm, I'm game for it because um, I also have something in mind, which I'm not going to share right now, what is the dish, but uh, it's something that my friends and me cook. I mean, I don't cook, I'm the one who eats, they cook, but um, I'm going to develop something with them. And okay. uh, the next cook, we teach you how to make a, a good Indian dish. Amazing. And will you share the recipe with everybody so as they can cook along with us? Absolutely. Absolutely. Amazing. All right. Let's make it happen, Jen. Done, done, done. It is happening. It was awesome. Jen, this has been absolutely amazing. It's been great. I'm looking forward to teaching each other how to cook. Like, I'm looking forward yeah. to learning some absolute belting dishes from you i can't wait um well yeah <laughs> well done today you cooked yourself a delicious dish i did thank you so much john it was such a pleasure and i was i was really nervous before starting this you know and um, i had a chat with you before this and i you saw how nervous i was and this was just so fun so amazing and i got this amazing dish and you're such a such a fantastic human. I am looking forward to doing this again with you very, very soon. I love it, Jen. Thank you very much. You've been a great sport, and I can't wait for our next cook along. All right. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All for right. Joining Take in. care. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.